Ladies, welcome to a special edition of Lovely Yarns TV. This is the culmination of our Happy Hooker happening wherein we award all the prizes for all the things. First, I'm going to pan around so you can see all of our entries. If you go to our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash happy dash hooker dash happening, you will scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can see a gallery with full description of all of these items which have been submitted. You are then encouraged to select and heart your favorite so you may vote for your favorite pieces to win the People's Choice Award. As you can see, these are all fabulous submissions. I'm so excited that we have all of them here today. We will be awarding our People's Choice Award next Saturday. That's correct. We will award our People's Choice Award next Saturday. And we won't do a video for that one, but we will have an announcement for it on our website and all of our social media. So, and I don't want to go into like super detail on all of the pieces in this video, but you can see these are all fabulous. What I do want to do is I want to tell you who won all the awards and what they're for. So first off, our first winner goes to, first award goes to Morgan Boyer for our largest granny square. And that is this blanket here. Sari, can you come over and hold up the blanket so everyone can see? Oh yeah. Here we go. You can be our Vanna White. So <laughs> this is the largest granny square. I believe it's called Not Your Granny's Square. And this was made by Morgan Boyer, our most local indie dyer. And she dyes Tiny Owl Yarns, and she will be here next month for a trunk show. Congratulations, Morgan, on the largest granny square. Thank you very much, Vanna, or Sari. <laughs> okay, so then the next prize is most granny squares. And that's gonna be the blanket next to it, made by Scott. Oh boy, they're all falling off. <laughs> Clearly, I am the best man of white. Clearly, she's the best man of white. This is by our friend Scott Davis. Scott also lives in the neighborhood and works for Baltimore City. Look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is 121 granny squares, 13 of which were made last year. So really, Scott gets credit for 108 granny squares, all made in the month of January. And he even took the time to crochet them into this beautiful blanket. And look at the seams. Very clean. And he even put a beautiful edging on the blanket as well. This is a lovely piece of crochet. And also, it is made from the most granny squares this year. Congratulations, Scott! Yay! Yay! Our second place granny square winner this year is Morgan Boyer. She made 27 granny squares. Well done, Morgan. Woohoo! Woohoo! Now, for best original design. Best original design. There were quite a few entries for this, and our impartial, anonymous judge has awarded the best original design to Abby Ramelkamp for her 10 Motley Skeins pot holder, which, here, Sari, can we hold this up for oh, the people? Yes. Which is, here's side A, and then let's turn it over to see side, this is side B. So this is Abby's own design, and she put this together, creating her own gradient from um, all different scraps in her yarn stash. And she's called this 10 Motley Skeins. Well done, Abby, and excellent uh, stitching. Love the color choices, the complimentary colors work really well for me. Love it. Okay, and then second place for best original design is Quiche Coutain for her tree mandala and accompanying mobile. Well, actually, it should be the mobile with accompanying mandala. I believe she said they are companion pieces. So can we pull them back so Oh, yes. yes. So isn't that cool? So she's taken this tree motif that she's created and then turned it into a mobile, which is pretty spectacular. Okay. So, and then we have 
Do you have a third place? Oh, yes. And then third place also is Abby for her Cherry Bomb cardigan, which is a mixture of knitting and crochet. It has crocheted elements on the front, the sleeves, and on the back. Okay. And then we have fashion. First place fashion is Amanda Burke for her rainbow sweater. Can we hold this one up? Oh, yes. Will that fit over your top? I don't know. We can find think. out. We can find out. This will be fun. Uh, let's not try. Let's not try. But we can hold it up and Sari can show this to us. So this is Amanda's rainbow sweater. So, and it features shaped ribbing at the top. See? So she's got increases and decreases to do shaping at the top for the yoke. And would you call this like a lace granny square motif on the sleeve? Yeah. Do you want to talk about this a little bit? I can wing it sure <laughs> so, that's how we roll so we have this really cool design that is done using front post double crochets fancy fancy we have these uh lacy kind of window pane-esque panels we have a repeat of the front post double crochet motif at the bottom to tie it all together. You'd get a nice off the shoulder look if I were to actually wear it, but uh, I like it too much to find that out on video. Good plan. And congratulations, Amanda. And second place for fashion is the Euphoria cardigan made by our friend in Georgia, Morgan Vincent. Yay, we miss you, Morgan. We miss you, Morgan. And Morgan's cardigan is being modeled here by her niece. Did you try again? No, Sari. <laughs> so, poor Sari gets talked to by Siri all the time. Every time. So, this is Morgan's niece uh, modeling her Euphoria cardigan, which is like a big giant granny square with sleeves. And I really like the front hanging open with the long, loose front flaps. I think it's very stylish and also flattering. And it drapes nicely in the back. Drapes nicely in the back has a good fit, and of course we love rainbows. Okay, and then third place in fashion is Abby for her Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb's getting a lot of love today. Yeah. Okay, and then here we can... That I could probably wear without destroying it. Probably. Okay, so here's Abby's Cherry Bomb. For a better look at this, it's really interesting because um, this is... Abby totally made up the pattern. So it's a knitted sweater base, and then it has uh crocheted elements decorative elements on the front mm -hmm. and the back and it's got like see the little bombs aren't those fun got these cool rose buttons and then also it has the granny square sleeves with giant flowers and a crocheted butterfly element on the back so it's sort of like a nice mix between the two mediums sorry we'll show it we'll model it for us so you can see how it hangs and I won't get stuck. And she won't get stuck. I'm gonna let in just the top button. So let's see, can you show us the back? Very cute. I love the dragonfly with his little trail and the little mini pom-poms just kind of make it. Definitely they help to the, with the drape. It's very fun to wear and it feels very cozy. Really good for the work from home setup when you, when you need a little bit. Ooh, lovely. Okay. Our next category, first place for Amy Garumi goes to Yukon Cornelius. Yay! Congratulations for first prize, Yukon Cornelius. And then this is also made by Amanda. And our second prize winner for Amy Garumi is. Also, Amanda, for her Eeyore. Here, Sari. Come up, hold the Eeyore, please. Eeyore. Eeyore, here we are. And look, he even has his bow on his tail. Boy, she's nailing it today. Cleaning up, ladies and gentlemen. And then our third place winner for Emmy Garumi is Little Monty, the cutest little cow. Adorable. So here we go. We have some customers who are coming in the shop right in the moment and Sari is telling them that we're making a video. <laughs> so this is our third, our third prize winner for our Happy Hooker Happening Amigurumi 
category. And then next we have Tunisian crochet, which goes to Queen Clara. So here it is. Our friend Clara did this beautiful Tunisian crocheted pillow cover. And here's Clara's lovely pillow. And Tunisian crochet is a very cool combination of both knitting and crochet. And while we're sitting here looking at pillows, let's talk about this piece too. Sari made this one and this is very soft. And although it didn't win for Amy Garumi, um, it is a super fun piece of home decor. Um, and then we have our next category is accessories. And our first place winner for accessories is Morgan Boyer's Crystal Berries Shawl. And this is a crocheted lace shawl with a beautiful beaded edge. Look at that. So pretty. And this also is done with her hand dyed yarns. Again, she is Tiny Owl Yarns, our most local hand dyer. Hey. <laughs> hey, we cannot say that enough. And this is just really lovely, wouldn't you say? Oh, very nice. Very so definitely, elegant. yes, and I feel very worthy of the first prize for the accessories category. Our second prize winner actually is Sari for Yay. her hat and mittens. Here, we're going to get her to model because she made them. So this is this very cute hat. Can you tell us about the pattern? Yeah, um, totally blanking on the name right now, but I did find it on Ravelry. We can link it in the show notes. Uh, and it is a matching hat and fingerless mitt set, which I made using some Feederbrook Farms. Does this cool ripply motif using uh, crocheting into the back stitch, doing half doubles and slip stitches. Super fun. Mm. We like this a lot. We like that they match. Right? I, I, I needed to make sure that they matched, and I love the Feederbrook Farm. Her gradients are just so amazing. And it's very cozy. And look how cute your hat is. And if you want to flip up the brim, you can, for a snugger fit, you can see. And I even ordered some pom-poms. Oh my goodness. To go on top, because I love me a giant pom-pom. Very cute. And I'm such a fan of the fingerless mitts because I need to be able to use the computer, but my hands get cold. Yes, we totally understand about that. And Third prize winner for accessories is Megan McDonald for her crown of flowers. I love this. It's so fun. It's very um, summer garden party. Um, if you complete with the tag hanging, complete with the tag hanging in your face, but also you could wear it to the Ren Fair. Um, oh, what was that? What was that movie with the cult where they had the midsummer? Flower? Yes, for when you're for doing <laughs> midsummer reenactments. Perfect. But it's really pretty, and she did such a nice job. And I love the gradient flowers and how she chose to do them every other flower with the white petaled flowers with the dark outline. And we promise there's no ritual sacrifice involved. This time. Yes. Okay. And then our next category is home decor. And our home decor winner is first prize goes to Morgan Vincent for her octagonal granny square blanket. I think is this a is this a pattern that she did or is this her original design also? I have no idea. I'm not sure, but we I love think it this. It was a pattern she found. It might have been a pattern she found, but I love the colors that she chose, and I think her stitching is really even. It's great. It totally reminds me of the blankets my great grandmother made. It, you know, it pops out. The flowers are three D, uh, and it's joined together. It has kind of an African flower motif feeling to it, but it's got that nice granny square border, and then those little granny squares filling in the space, sort of tying it all together. I feel like the joins are done really well. The joins are gorgeous, and blanket joins, especially angular blanket joins like that, are really hard to pull off. Yeah, so this definitely is worthy so of So this is well done. Really well done. And we just wish we could see it in person, but we, we understand it's in Georgia. And also the little scallop edge. Like, how nice is that? I love me a scallop edge. Love a scallop edge. Love me a scallop. Love a scallop. Second place for the home decor category is the chain rainbow blanket here. This one is super awesome. I love how the chains interlock. 
it's a very cool technique. It's one that I have seen on the interwebs. I have not tried myself. Look at that. So you would like crochet around each other. Yeah, you would do the first one and then you'd start the second one and the joins kind of get hidden by the other ones along the way. And then you crochet the rounds on, the rows on either side go into it to anchor it in place. So it gives you this airy feeling, you know, which is good. Sometimes you don't want the blanket you're cuddling under on the couch to stifle you too much. Right. And also we love the neon colors. Right. Very, very retro, very in right now. For all of us early 90s babies, we are... Also, it's great for looking for your afghan in the dark when you are cold. Right? Like, you're never going to lose this blanket. No. This is great. Well done, Amanda, and congratulations. And then third prize in our home decor is this beauty over here by our friend Rachel Kay. And Rachel said this was her little girl's blanket. Her little girl is the cutest... So this blanket has been well loved. And we love it too. And stitched with a mama's love. Look at all the colors and the joins and the texture. What's crazy is Rachel said it was one of her first goes at a big blanket like this. So uh, well done. Yeah, kudos to you. Putting the rest of us to shame. Serious. Like this, I would say this is a uh, technologically advanced, like right? technically, uh, technologically, just technically technologically advanced. <laughs> and you see echoes of some of the other motifs we've seen around. So we have these front post double crochets like we had in that top. So that gives us that 3D texture there. We have a crocodile stitch flower, which is sort of reminiscent of the links in the previous blanket. And there's a three dimensional. We have the three dimensional flower, which echoes the flowers we saw in uh, Morgan's blanket. Like, there's a lot going on here. There are a lot of techniques. And I am a fan of doing non-traditional baby colors for baby blankets. And look at this. Like, she uses all detail. the colors, but the colors work together really well. It goes like, so nicely. And then I love the bobbles around the edge. Bobbles and are fun. A nice little, like, flower design border. Yeah, like... It all works together really well. We like, here, I'm gonna stand back so we can see it all as one piece. I'm gonna try to hold it up as best as I can. But I think it's really awesome. Like it shows, it's a really good marriage of the advanced crochet techniques. The colors work really well together. Well done, Rachel, we applaud you. Huzzah. Con huzzah, congratulations. And let's see here. And I think we need to, we can hold that one up because also this blanket in your hand is our first place winner for best technical merit. I don't think oh, we have to go over it again. Oh my goodness, it deserves it wholeheartedly. Don't you think so? Like really, like it's really tech, I think it's really like, advanced. It is advanced so pressure. well done. I think, it's, I love the drops. The stitch definition is fantastic. The joins are clean. It looks good close up and far away. And it's very cozy. And very cozy. So, okay, so, and then um, second for Best Technical Merit is Morgan Boyer's Crystal Berries. Uh, we love the beaded lace crochet, and we like that she went the extra mile to put the beads on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the definition in those drop, in the sort of broomstick lace-esque stitches, everything is very neat. It's blocked really well. It's blocked really well. It's, you know, there's no discrepancy in stitch height. It is very nicely done. Very nicely done. Congratulations, it Morgan. so fancy wear. Absolutely. Very fancy. For a night out at home. For exactly. going for going to the theater safely at home on your TV screen. Okay, and then third place for best technical merit actually is the interlocking blanket. Yes. Like the interlocking loops. And we spoke about these interlocking loops, but I wanted yes. to do the technical merit while we had just had those pieces fresh in our minds. Absolutely. So, and then our next category is artistic expression and first place goes to the tree mobile i love this this is i think my personal favorite i want to own this i want it in my house um 
she like Keish works at one of the shops down the street from us here in Hamden at Sugar the Shop. We can link to them in our description. Absolutely. We love us some sugar. So, and then the yarn that she used, this is Unique. I think it's Unique Fingering. Wait, Unique Sock Yarn is what she is. It's not the DK. I think it's this one is, of the Uniques. It's, it's definitely like a unique yarn. And also with some of this Black Bamboo Yarn from Ito. And then, of course, she cut out and created all of the glass and metal pieces that make up the tree in the center of the mobile that give it that ringing wind chimey sound. So lovely. So lovely. I love this. This is my favorite thing. And then, of course, this goes with her companion piece, the tree mandala over here. So this was number one for artistic expression. I believe very well deserved. Very well deserved and very well done. Congratulations, Keith. Well done, Keith. Excellent. And then second place for artistic expression is Megan's crown of flowers. Well done, Megan. Yay, Megan. Congratulations, lady. Megan thinks of herself mostly as a knitter. She she was saying she's kind of new to some of this crochet stuff. We talked her through a granny square in our speediest stitcher competition. And she's done so well. And look how far she has come. I know, making stuff up, being artsy about it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then, of course, third prize is Abby for her cherry bomb sweater. Hey! Yay, Abby! Which is, Abby. Buried, under which is buried under everything else. So but congratulations, Abby. Well done. And it's funny because Abby um, is primarily a knitter as well, yes. but has been incorporating more crochet uh, into her pieces in the past couple of years. So our next big category, this is actually our last category that we will award today, is best overall. And we're going to do this backwards. Our third place winner for best overall is Scott for his granny square blanket. Um, we did Scott best overall because we love how the colors flowed on his blanket. Sarah, can you hold this up one more time? Oh, yes. We're just going to have stuff falling. <laughs> So we really liked how his color scheme went from blues to purples. Uh, the yarns that he chose worked really well together. The pieces are all very well made. The joins are impeccable. And we just want to curl up and, you know, in front of, on the couch and be super cozy in this blanket. And this is the back. This is the joins on the back. And look so how tidy similar. they are. And then look at the joins on the front. Very well done, Scott. We love this and we yes. applaud you. Congratulations. Second prize for best overall is Amanda B for her rainbow sweater. Congratulations, Amanda. Very nice. Very nice. We had a couple anonymous impartial judges and one of the judges really loved this. And it was really a tie for first between this and the piece that got for first prize. So well done, everyone. Congratulations and huzzah. And of course, our first prize winner is for best overall is Kish Kutain for her tree mobile. Yay! Congratulations, Keish. Now, all the winners are welcome to come to Lovely Yarns to pick up their prizes anytime this week. Also, we encourage you to go to lovelyyarns.com forward slash happy dash hooker dash happening and vote for your favorite pieces to win our People's Choice Award, our last and only unawarded category. And some may say, may say the most important because you, the people, choose the winner. Thank you so much for watching and happy stitching!